Here I'm going to show how to use a tear expression as part of a geospatial analysis. This is a shape file from the US Census, where I've also added some columns. If I take a look at the data with the table viewer, I can see the polygon shapes here as well as some other uh, shape file columns. I'm going to move over to a map view, however. The census track is a pretty common geographical subdivision used by the census and designed for stability for uh, statistical analyses. If I now look at the data columns in this uh, data set, so as well as the shapefile columns, I've also merged in several other columns from another US census table, the median age, median income, and graduate level, college graduate level. And because the scales of these columns are so different, I've also prepared some scaled versions of them for analysis. So I can use these to color code the map just to see what's going on here. Here's the, the median age, college graduate level, median income. So I'm also going to turn off the borders of that layer, make the border weight zero. This will make it easier to see what's going on. So again, I, I can color code by any of these individual items, but I like to get a more systematic analysis of the spatial patterns in the data by taking account multiple of these um, measures. So if I, if I bring up the dialog for color by, there's a lot of options here. I'd like to do a cluster analysis and color by the cluster, but instead of doing that, I'm going to insert a new column with the cluster results. This way I can use the cluster analysis both to color the map and to look at the details. So I'm going to open the dialog for adding a calculated column. And as mentioned, there's a lot of functionality here. If I look in the statistical section, I'm going to draw upon this uh, selection of tear functions to build my expression down here. So here's my expression. I'm using the, the tear integer function to so the first argument here is a expression which is an R script. Before I dig in too deep, I'll just point out there is a lot of documentation about the tear functions. For example, the tear integer is documented. You just have to do a Google search, for example, on tear integer. So in this case, I'm using a key means function. So in the expression, anything that's coming in is regarded as input one, input two, or input three. And what's being sent back out is sent out as output. So I'm basically making a little data frame from three inputs into input columns and I'm using a key means function for this, and I'm asking for four clusters here. So I'm extracting the cluster, sending that to the output. As the three inputs, I'm using these three scale versions of the income, age, and college education. Finally, I'm casting this as a string, so it will come up as a categorical variable in the plot. I better give this a name and call this cluster, and it should be good to go. So now I can simply call up the cluster I've just created and use that to color code this map. So the reason I use a column, of course, is because I have a nice map here showing some interesting patterns, but I really don't know what they mean, so I need to do a bit more analysis now. I'd like an overview of what, of what these clusters actually measure, so I'm going to add a bar chart to this diagram. So starting from scratch, I'm going to use the columns I used in the clustering on the y-axis, these three. the rock out. Use the average as the aggregation. And I'm going to use the column names over here. I'm going to trellis it by the cluster membership. I'm also going to color code by the cluster membership here too. So when I'm done, the colors here match the colors over there, which is good. But these three columns here are the college education, the average age, and the average income. The four Rows here in colors are the four different clusters. So for example, the oldest people with the highest age are the blue clusters. So the blue people are the oldest. Um, people with the highest income, for example, is this red group here. Those are the people who live near the metropolitan areas. You can kind of get a sense for these different patterns here. And of course it is a live map, so you can zoom in and, and drive around and see what's going on. Just look at the different patterns and so forth. All right, so that's a quick way to use tear expressions to enhance a geospatial analysis.